Hey everybody, I wanted to do an update just from last video and just say that I'm sorry if I was too crazy and too... It's just certain times, you know, it seems like things bug me and I try not to let them bug me and ruin the video or whatever. I just... Venting is always a good thing for me. Anyways, um, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. I did. Uh, it's a little bit different not being with my family. So if my family's watching this, I love you guys, <laughs> and I do miss you, but um, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, just word of encouragement, you know, no matter what um, you're going through right now, even today, you know, talking to a friend of mine, you know, she's going through a rough patch in her life, and she feels like, you know, you know, I'm just going to say, Felicia, you know, if you're watching this, I want you to know, and others too, you know. I know it can be rough right now, but somehow, some way, you will get through it. Even though, you know, for me, being in a relationship, it can be difficult with a guy. <laughs> you know, sometimes we don't know what guys are thinking, and they confuse us a lot. <laughs> um, Just... Just keep going, you know, no matter how bleak it may get and how dark it may get, you know, you're not alone. I've gone through so much in my life this year and I can't believe it's almost over. So, anyways, yeah, keep on going even though it just seems like, you know, life throws many obstacles in your way. And it just like for me, you know, I think of you, Malaysia, you know, the things you go through, you know. It's not going to be like this forever, you know. The loneliness you may feel, the discouragement you feel, you know, it's not going to be like this forever. And, you know, I'm just so glad that I can be able to vent about the problems in my life and go to friends. And, you know, that's what you got to do when you feel like you can't move on in life and you feel like you're always falling apart, you know, talk to a friend. You know, try to get some advice on what you should do. And I know, me of all people, I'm not the best to give advice. And, you know, I make these videos hoping that it will get across to someone and encourage someone. And that's why I do these videos. And so, if you've had a bad day, just realize that there's the sun is peeking out. You know, it's going to shine again. Though it may be dark and gloomy and it just seems like chaos. And you know, <clears throat> like I said, I'm a Christian and I believe in God. And you know, the end is coming near. And you know, I'm not going to put anyone down if they're an atheist or religious or anything. Or if they don't believe in God. You know, I'm not going to put you down. But the end is near. And it's up to us to decide whether we're going to step out in faith and trust Jesus as our personal Savior. You know, there was a point in my life where I had to make that choice and come to that point in my life that he was all that I needed. And that's the only thing you really need in life. And, you know, there's never been a place and a time that you've asked Jesus into your heart to save you, you know. There is a hell, there is a heaven, and what I did a few years back is, you know, I came to that point in my life where I had nothing in my life, no peace, no joy, no nothing, and then I looked at my sister's life and realized that I was lost, I'm a sinner, I've done wrong things, and realized, you know, I want joy in my life, and everybody's searching for answers, everyone's searching for this to satisfy their needs, when Jesus is the only thing, and those of you who don't believe in God, I mean, look, look at creation, look at this beautiful weather, you know, look at a baby being born, you know, if you don't believe there's a God, how can you not, when the beautiful world that we live in, he created, and so I just want to share a little bit of that, what's on my heart. I know I'm rambling on, but, you know, look at the world around you and realize, you know, it had to be God.
Because I know for me, if I was living life without Jesus, I'd be lost without him. And I know I'm very imperfect. I make mistakes. But I know that if something happened to me, where I would go, and that's heaven. And if you've never done that, if you never come to a place, all you have to do is just trust in Jesus to take you to heaven when you die. You know, believe what he did. And Jesus' his son, he died on the cross for you, so you can go to heaven. And, you know, it's nothing good that we've done that will get us to heaven. It's trusting him and him alone that will save us. And then that's when true joy comes in. That's when true peace comes in. And nothing the world can satisfy you. And I just beg of you, I plead of you, before it's too late, you know, repent of your sins. Realize that he's the only one that can bring true happiness and true joy. And I don't want anybody to go to hell. And the reason I believe the reason that hell was created for the devil and his angels you know and so i hope everyone has made that decision in their life where they gonna go when it's time to go you know and i would love to see everybody in heaven and enjoy heaven with me because if you haven't then the only option is hell I don't want that for anybody. And so do take this time to reflect. You know, is it worth dying and going to hell? Or is it worth going to heaven and asking Jesus to come into my life and save me? Because he's the only joy in life. And you know, it's hard to say that sometimes because I've made so many mistakes in my life. But I wanted to share that Jesus is the only way. And he loves you. His son Jesus died on the cross so you can go to heaven and be free of bondages and things in your own life. And all you have to do is believe. Just like Christmas time. You know, when people give you a gift, you don't have to work for it. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is accept it. And I'm just saying, <clears throat> it's up to you whether you're going to accept Jesus reject him I'm not trying to push religion on you I'm not trying to push God on you but just think in your heart you know what purpose do you have living on here on earth when the best thing you can have is Jesus and he will forgive you of all the sins that you have committed and he will help you through those hard difficult times I know he's helped me and I just plead for everyone who's watching this Please accept Jesus into your life. Please just step out and realize that he's the only person that can help you through anything. And you know, a friend of mine <laughs> mentioned a few days ago or a few weeks ago, you know, isn't it that the Bible has helped Christians or something like that, she said. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I haven't read as much as I should and I need to get back to that. But I realized... The Bible does help. The Bible does give answers. And, you know, people do have their own opinion about the Bible and is it perfect and did God actually write it? I mean, he used imperfect people to write it, but it is the word. People try to burn it. People try to get rid of it, but it is the word. And so it's up to you if you're going to step out and make that choice. I can't make it. You know, one of these days we're all going to stand before God and we're going to have to give an account of our lives. You know, I can't stand before you and make that choice. You're going to have to stand before God someday, give an account for everything you said and everything you've done in this life. And I hope he can say one day, well done, my good and faithful servants. And if your name's written in the book of life, and that's if you've asked Jesus to come into your heart and save you, that you've actually asked him to be your Lord of your life, 
You know, he's not asking for you to change every little thing and that comes with salvation. He just wants you to have him into into your life. And I hope you make the right choice. So if you like this video, like it, share it with your friends. Tell them I'm on YouTube so I can get more subscribers. And I hope everybody has a good afternoon. Keep smiling.